Now the details here at 530. Hurricane watches are in effect along the Gulf Coast right now, Florida. This because of tropical storm Adalia. It's expected to intensify into a category three hurricane as we take a look at these images here. This by the time it makes landfall this week, it will be the first storm to hit Florida this hurricane season. ABC's Rena Roy with more on how residents are preparing. Preps are underway in Florida as Idalia churns toward the state's Gulf Coast, rapidly strengthening and expected to make landfall as a major storm. Wind and surge, surge could be significant, 6 to 11 feet and heavy rain as well. With that storm surge likely, people in Tampa stocking up on sandbags. We're college students, so we're just trying to like prepare as, well as best as we can. Forecasters warn Idalia could also generate tornadoes. It's better to be prepared versus not prepared and have regrets. Duke Energy mobilizing about 4,500 workers to respond to potential power outages. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis getting a pledge of federal support from the White House after declaring a state of emergency for more than 30 counties, about half the state. Floridians in the path of the storm, though, should be prepared to, to lose power, uh, particularly if it ends up in a big bend, major impact. There's a lot of trees. You're going to have a lot of power lines down. Tampa Inter International Airport shutting down at midnight with forecasters expecting Idalia to make landfall Wednesday morning. Everybody from on the Florida Gulf Coast just watch and be prepared and take the necessary action to protect you and your family. After hitting Florida, Idalia is also expected to bring heavy rain and a chance of flash flooding in southern Georgia and the Carolinas before leaving the East Coast on Thursday. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.